Good morning and welcome to Renew, a devotional for you. Today's devotional is called Little Christ, and our verses are found in Acts chapter 11, verses 19 to 26. Now they, which were scattered abroad upon the persecution that arose about Stephen, traveled as far as Phoenice and Cyprus and Antioch, preaching the word to none but unto the Jews only. And some of them were men of Cyprus and Cyrene, which, when they were come to Antioch, spake unto the Grecians, preaching the Lord Jesus. And the hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number believed, and turned unto the Lord. Then tidings of these things came unto the ears of the church, which was in Jerusalem, and they sent forth Barnabas, that he should go as far as Antioch, who, when he came, and had seen the grace of God, was glad, and exhorted them all, that with purpose of heart they would cleave unto the Lord. For he was a good man, and full of the Holy Ghost and of faith, and much people was added unto the Lord. Then departed Barnabas to Tarsus for to seek Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch, and it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church, and taught much people. And the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. The word Christian only appears three times in Scripture, Acts 11.26, Acts 26.28, and 1 Peter 4.16. It's worth noting that the word is used as a noun in all three examples. Today, the term Christian is often used as an adjective, Christian camp, Christian college, music, books, etc. The word is frequently used as a label, but in reality, it should be a lifestyle. In the city of Antioch, the people heard the preaching of God's word and the gospel of Jesus Christ, Acts 11, 19, and 20. As a result, a great number believed, and a great number turned unto the Lord, in verse 21. Needless to say, there was a significant change that occurred in those people's lives. There is one additional thing that made them deserve a title like Christian. Barnabas came from Jerusalem and exhorted them that they would cleave unto the Lord, in verse 23. It was like Jesus became everything to these people, and they began to live like him and for him. It's no surprise these believers were called Christians, which means little Christ. They did not choose this name for themselves, but were given this name by those who saw overwhelmingly obvious evidence of Jesus in their lives. When Christians began to live up to their name, the world in which we live can't help but notice. Today's key verse is found in Acts eleven twenty six, And when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. Now, some thoughts that I have from today is that right now, especially right now, we need to be a light in this world. And when someone sees us, our goal should be for them to think of us as different and not like the rest of the world. Now, the thought to glow today is... When Christians begin to live up to their name, the world can't help but notice. So, I'm going to pray now. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you so much for all you do for us, Lord Jesus. Thank you for saving us, Lord. Thank you for being just so merciful and gracious towards us, Lord. Thank you for loving us each and every single day, God. Thank you for protecting and guiding us, Lord. I pray that we would live up to, to your standards, Lord Jesus, and that we would follow you, Lord. And in your name, Jesus, amen. Have a great day, and don't forget to join us tomorrow on Renew.